Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Teasing Master Takagi-san season 3 episode number 2. Okay, the previous episode, uh, it was the beginning of the third season. Uh, Takagi, as always, is, <laughs> you know, not Takagi, but um, Nishikata is trying to, you know, uh, tease Takagi, but as always takagi kind of like you know turns the whole thing around and that's how it started as always takagi is like you know uh, not takagi sorry the, uh, nishikata was doing the uh, the thing uh, the the hand uh, wrist exercise thing i don't know what it's called <laughs> you know and um, you know like there's like a little game they were playing when <clears throat> nishikata actually weird stuff starts happening and nishikata realizes she's actually in a dream i pretty much i i really like the first episode because there was like uh, a few it had a few twists in it like the first portion was actually nishikata dreaming while the last portion was actually uh, takagi dreaming which kind of like you know it's kind of interesting like it both kind of came out of the blue like um I, as far as i can remember the first scene where takagi actually uh, you know holds uh, nishikata's hands that's when everything starts going weird and we realize ah oh, this is a dream and uh, in the last portion the jack in the box portion when the jack in the box opens weird starts uh, stuff starts happening because like fireworks start popping out and that's when we again realize that oh this is also another dream so it's kind of interesting how like yeah, they did those two parts and that was really great for the first episode and yeah i'm looking forward to what more uh you know teasing like you know how more there how more like you know nishikata not nishikata tahagi is going to tease nishikata in how many different ways and uh if if like you know nishikata is somehow able to tease uh, tease takagi back but i doubt that's going to happen <laughs> so yeah anyways let's get started this is episode number two of season three so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started <clears throat> all right here's the countdown <clears throat> three two one go Okay. <clears throat> All right. So I wonder, like, uh, as far as I can remember, they kind of interacted with other characters as well in the previous season, but not that much. I wonder if that will increase in this season like um you know like the other characters them interacting with nishikata and takagi i wonder if that's going to happen here like they interacted in the previous season i i do remember a few episodes but yeah not in that amount <clears throat> I wonder what that apple is. Does that have any significance or something? Like the first part of the opening also shows us that apple. Anyways, resins. Hmm. Oh. oh, she's like, oh, new chance. <laughs> oh, this is, what is this? Hitman? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Damn. Takagi is a ninja as well. Substitution jutsu. <laughs> oh boy. I do know, like, this, like, you know, the, the author of Takagi also has another manga which has, a, like, a ninja girl as the main character. And it's also getting an anime adaptation in the future. <laughs> wow, no one's actually talking. Interesting. It's been silent from the beginning. Ha <laughs> 
Oh my god. <laughs> she he's like, ah, I know. I know someone's falling, definitely. Nishkata's waiting for that chance. A turn will come, he'll turn and just let me see. No, okay, never mind. Uh, it won't work like that. Wow. He's like, um, okay, and yeah, maybe I am wrong. Ah, uh, there you go. Uh, <laughs> just like those video games, you know? Oh my god. <clears throat> Okay, this suspicion bar is again rising little by little, I think. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, now, now's the chance. Just stop. But Takagi is also clever. She's not that much of a fool, you know? Yep. Yeah, he's like, ah, never mind. What? Oh, treasure found. Oh, wait. Oh, was that something she had? Oh no, no. Oh, okay, okay. He's going to show that and brag that, ah, look at this. I love the way the music also goes, you know, like when he was laughing, it was kind of... <laughs> kind of reminds me of uh, Tom and Jerry, you know, like I used to watch them when I was a child. <laughs> oh my god the dedication <laughs> ah hello there fancy meeting you <laughs> on the way to school uh. <laughs> oh my god she'll be like okay let me guess nishkata you have a marble with you, don't you? <clears throat> okay, yeah, Nishkata is bringing that up. Oh my god, there you go. <laughs> He's like, can you guess what I have with me? <laughs> hmm, let me guess. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, wow, how did you know that? Oh my god, okay. <laughs> oh. Wow. Fantastic start. Presence continued, okay. Oh, this girl. <laughs> She's like, okay, let me play a prank on her. <laughs> I doubt she's as good as Takagi, but let's see how she fares. Oh my god. Almost busted. Wow, the music kind of goes alongside the, the steps that she was running. Oh! <laughs> oh no, she's coming this way. Oh. <laughs> Uh, 
All right. Oh. <coughs> Let's see now what she's doing. Oh my god, she's just <laughs> She's just looking at so many different things. Oh my god, she knew from the beginning. <laughs> she's like, oh my god, what the hell? What the hell am I even doing? Oh, but is she also following them? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> She's the actual winner. Desk check, okay. Desk check. What is a desk? Oh, I, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Like, they check whether you brought something. <laughs> Practice room, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, seems pretty normal. Hmm. Nah, maybe, maybe you're hiding something inside the, the thing, you know? <laughs> you need to check that jacket. Maybe there's something hidden in it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, come on. Fake, okay. I'm sure you can do that. Oh! Oh, maybe that's just a bait for you. Maybe she, maybe she kept, kept that... Nah. That's a bait. <laughs> that's probably just a textbook or something. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a definite bait. Yeah. <laughs> mm, I I doubt she'll he'll be able to do that. Okay, there you go. Oh, wait, what? Oh my god, wow. Okay, I didn't see that coming at all. <laughs> <coughs> ah, there you go. Oh, that is a manga. Oh my god. <laughs> but he now has a manga with him. So, yeah, if a dex check does happen, he'll get into trouble.
Hmm. Okay. Once a week. Yeah, this is like a library, so. Hmm, okay. <laughs> okay. Illustrated Guide to Dinosaurs. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's quite a few of them. Yeah, it's like a, a complete set of those books. <laughs> <coughs> oh. Oh my god, why did you accept it when you are afraid of her actually? Oh boy. Oh, he's going to pick something else. Oh. Okay. Brian. Um. Ah. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Wow, well played, <laughs> well played. <laughs> she knew he wouldn't choose that, that's why she herself chose it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. No, she he definitely was not thinking of, of that, but yeah. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Mm. <laughs> uh. Hmm. <laughs> Dinosaur book? <laughs> there you go. Other than okay. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> Sunset. Oh, going back from school. No, okay. Oh, he's jogging. Wait, why is he still in school? Jimmy uniform. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Well, he has been practicing for quite a while, so obviously he he will be accustomed to running for a long distance. <clears throat> oh. 
Oh my god. Fa uh, picked okay. Oh my yo. <laughs> His picture when he's going to click that picture he'll be all spent out. <laughs> Blue panting. Oh my god. <laughs> and there's not enough time you know you need to get that sunset you know that sunset as well <clears throat> yeah she definitely not did not say that <laughs> oh my god Okay, at least he reached there on time. <laughs> oh my god. I, oh my god, I feel like he didn't even bring his phone or something. He won't be able to click the picture. I think it's going to be something like that. I've, oh no, he brought his phone. Okay, there you go. Okay. <laughs> uh. Wait, oh wait, she went home and came back. Oh boy. <clears throat> bike, okay, she came, wait, came in bike. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I, I doubt he ever will. <laughs> Unless and until the ending, you know, maybe almost at the end or at the end, maybe he will win. But not now. I doubt that. <clears throat> All right. Okay, that was this episode. <coughs> I like how uh, they did the first part. You know, that first part was really interesting. The way they kind of did it with no sound. Uh, not no sound, sorry, but no voice but only using music and sound effects and you know like uh, the music was kind of changing uh, in rhythm to the different things that the characters were doing 
for example when ta uh, when when that girl was you know kind of running the music was kind of you know rhythmically kind of playing uh singing to her footsteps <laughs> and yeah when I, and also when they were talking you know when takagi and nishikata were talking uh, the sound uh, the music and the sound effects were kind of you know, rhythmically syncing with them their 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 talking and everything like it's kind of really fun to actually watch that okay <clears throat> all right is that the end or is there an end credit scene nope that's the end okay this episode um this was episode number two of season three uh okay as i said the first part of the episode i really liked it because it, it it was just there was no voice acting nothing it was just you know like uh everything was shown in um what do you call it music format not music but sound effect format like the uh, sounds were kind of beating rhythmically syncing to the different things that they were doing as i said um this really reminded me of you know those uh those cartoons that we used to watch when like you know like quite a, when, when i was a kid um cartoons like tom and jerry and you know like those shows which did not have voice acting because you know like voice acting was actually not uh like you know i, th I don't think it was a thing at that moment you know, the, the, like voice acting was not a thing then as far as i can remember and it was only like you know music and stuff uh these type of sound effects and everything and i do remember myself watching these cartoons and you know tom and jerry and like a, a lot of other shows as well i don't remember their names um uh a few others i don't remember uh oh yeah i think yeah roadrunner i used to watch that there's also looney tunes these shows yeah i remember them <laughs> but tom and jerry was the thing one which actually made a huge lasting impression on me that's why i still remember it um so <clears throat> yeah that really reminded me of that as they were basically kind of like you know it's like doing that and oh i think i remember which were what really i think charlie chaplin also used to do this didn't it? yeah i think so i think charlie chaplin also had this as far as i can remember you know this type of like the things that were happening it was rhythmically uh tuned and synced to uh the music and sound effects um so yeah so here we we were seeing all the all it, it this the first part kind of done like that that was really interesting to see and <laughs> i really loved the little references they kind of put you know and i don't know if they do it deliberately or it's something that they just do for the sake of it but the, that whole like you know stealth bar thing if you guys can uh under, like you know remember not remember but if you guys can realize that now you know like with the little nishika uh, takagi's face and there was like a little bar and it was kind of filling up filling going down um i don't know if they like deliberately put that but that's one of the main what can i say uh <laughs> what can i say like any any stealth game like has that thing where there's like a presence awareness bar or something where which kind of fills up if someone actually uh, detects your presence and if you kind of go into stealth mode or you know kind of hide yourself for a moment it kind of falls down the ma the major like you know the main uh game that i remember having that uh was hitman and uh, i used to play that as well where <laughs> they used to have this kind of a presence bar which kind of filled up just like it was filling up in nishikata's time and it, it, like when it went red completely, Nishikata is like, oh, there's someone definitely here. And he tries to actively search for uh, Takagi. The similar thing happened there as well. When it went red, the, the enemies would actually actively try to search for you. And if you are still able to hide yourself and, you know, hide your presence, um, it would actually go down, you know, and they would lose interest and go away. Similar thing happened here as well when Nishikata... <laughs> actually loses interest goes away but it's still in the mid mid section you know it's still not completely gone down and the last time when he actually tries to actively search for takagi even though he's a, unable to find her it actually goes completely down and he's like ah it's just my mistake you know i'm just a bit too paranoid and he just goes on his own way <laughs> that was a really nice like you know way they actually showed us that and <clears throat> then here i don't know 
like i think this is probably the way she always gets um her hidden info you know on uh, nishikata like how taka gets uh, the info on uh, nishikata it's like she just follows him around <laughs> and find something like you know whenever nishikata finds something curious or like you know uh, comes across something like tahari already knows that because he's she's been following him just like how in this episode he found finds a marble on the middle of the road or something and he's like oh i'm going to show this to tahari <laughs> and she'll be surprised so <clears throat> obviously tahari knew that because she's been following him and then tahari is just like you know like takes a different route and like meets him in front of him and he she's like oh nice to meet you <laughs> as if she has not been following him for the past couple of minutes and tag is like let me uh, like, uh, uh, okay i have a really cool thing can you guess what it is and tag is like okay let me guess it's, it's some blue colored marble isn't it and he's like how <laughs> and he's surprised and he's like how are you able to do that like all the different uh, episodes that we have seen always goes in this fashion and i feel like this episode actually gave us the background information as to how always takagi is correct you know how is she correct all the time she basically follows him around and that's how <laughs> she comes up with all this hidden information about uh, takagi uh, about nishikata so <laughs> yeah like <clears throat> that's basically what happens that means like Uh, like we now know what actually happens in you know in the background so and how nishika uh, takagi is always able to you know uh, guess everything correctly and win so yeah <laughs> unfortunately nishika ta is definitely won't be able to realize that anytime soon so yeah okay that was that and then we get to the, the two other girls you know the, those two other characters the one with the glasses and the other one where a similar thing happens where they kind of <clears throat> you know like where, where the glasses girl uh, i don't remember their name but follows her you know and she's like oh let me just you know kind of go behind her and kind of surprise her and yeah but unfortunately she is too cautious the other girl she is always like you know stopping looking back and then like you know getting distracted by something else like a cat or maybe like a little flowers or like a little insect all these things <laughs> and the glasses girl is just like you know like is trying to surprise her but is unable to but still is kind of happy seeing her happy you know and then suddenly everything comes crash comes crashing down when the girl actually <laughs> addresses her and says that what the hell are you even doing come out <laughs> and she realizes that she already knew from the beginning oh my god that was funny and like you know that moment and like everything kind of stops like all, all the all music stops and everything and they start talking like this is funny and but the actual winner was the other girl the black haired girl who was also following them but yeah no one was able to cap like you know realize that <clears throat> but yeah that first section was really well done i really enjoyed that first part uh the next part is uh the dex uh, desk um what do you call it uh inspection yeah desk desk inspection part where <clears throat> takagi says that oh today's the desk inspection day and let's do a trial <laughs> and obviously tak uh, uh nishikata is like you know all serious about it he's like yeah i i i won't you know i won't slip up this time but as always uh, takagi is able to actually make him slip up you know and <laughs> she startles him and like you know kind of makes him flustered again which nishikata thinks that oh i'll also do the same thing to her but unfortunately takagi was has already prepared a bait for him you know, that that little manga thing <laughs> underneath her her jacket and she's like oh just you know like just if you're like you know uh, if you're suspecting something just uh, search my jacket <laughs> and obviously he won't be able to do that because it's her jacket you know like and he's hesitant to actually touch that so <laughs> yeah and then she basically hands out the manga to him so what basically happens is um obviously the manga is something that is like uh, you know 
something that if a disk ins inspection happens, you know, it, it will be caught. So it's with him now. So even though the disk in inspection won't happen today, just like how uh, Nishika uh, Takagi said, but still. And yeah, like this, this part really reminded me of another thing from my childhood as well. <laughs> um, like we also used to have these desk inspection, not desk inspection, but um, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, like we ha used to have bag inspections as far as I can remember. Not much, but a few times. Um, because yeah, we like you know the, there were students who used to bring uh, mobile phones or like you know like stuff like that, and uh, like you know maybe maybe some like different things. For example, some uh, not uh, like you know like some. What can I say? Some other books or something, you know, like uh, we we did not used to have. Oh yeah, we used to have comic books. Yeah, people used to bring comic books. Like obviously, like you know, manga was not that prevalent in, during those days. Uh, but we used to have comic books, you know, like the superhero comics book and stuff like that. Uh, people used to buy, bring them, uh, you know, like uh, in school as well, and you know, just uh, during free time or free free uh, sections, uh, we used to like you know read them. <laughs> but yeah like obviously like you know like school is strict and they definitely won't allow that like they, they'll just come and just uh like, you know confiscate them and if you want to get that back you'll actually have to go to the like you know to the staff room the teacher's room and ask them for it and my god like that's that's like another mess i remember my like no one used to like to go to the teacher's room to actually bring back their stuff like oh that's like a different type of a problem <laughs> so yeah and sometimes like you know like uh yeah it used to go like you know over that like i i don't remember anyone actually getting into bigger trouble for this but yeah if we actually had mobile phones we used to have go into like we used to fall into big troubles uh, probably our parents were also called yeah oh my god yep <laughs> but for books and stuff it was okay but for phones and like yeah that was something different oh my god all right uh, yeah that that kind of reminded me of that okay the next part uh, the library where li in li in the library Takagi and Nishikata they you know they are together like you know like just like so i'm guessing they used to have these kind of things where like a you know particular students have to do particular stuff like he said something uh, Nishikata said something about um once a week i think this is said or twice no once a week yeah once a week he and uh, takagi will have to do this so <clears throat> it's interesting like i i mean this is one thing that really fascinates me about uh, uh japanese uh you know schools is that most of the things like is actually left to the students for example uh you know like um I, I, the, the cleaning of the classroom yeah you know you, they, you, they 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 take uh turns you know like classroom duty and different things like you know even the student council is also another thing which is actually left to the students to actually uh gov govern a, a, like you know a, a school in in a very like you know what can i say like uh, as a leader and like we are like here in, in in anime as far as i see all in most of the animes people actually go to the student council first and the student council actually go to the teachers with the different problems so the student council is like the bridge so that's also left to the students like this is what it really fascinates me about you know like in anime as we see the japanese uh, school and uh, everything is like most of the things are left to the students where which is why uh, like you know a lot of things uh, are actually learned by different students uh, you know like taking responsibility and stuff and uh, like um like i don't know about any other places any other schools different in any other different country schools but at least in my country, this was not it, you know. We we used to, like, you know, like, the blackboard and stuff, we used to have a duty th in there, you know. Like, if the blackboard was, uh, like, you know, there was, there was some writing in the blackboard, there was a person that was assigned to, you know, rub the blackboard. That was that. But cleaning the classroom, these type of things, none of it was there. So, it's interesting, you know, like, and, and this is really something that really fascinates me, is, like, actually leaving everything to the students as far as they can so yeah anyways um so okay yeah uh, here we uh, see them in the library duty as well and <laughs> as always takagi is like okay um let's choose some books 
Nishikata uh, sees like you know uh, some dinosaur picture books and he's very happy Tagi always as always did not miss that and she's like okay let's exchange our books and let's just see which one is you know and read the other's book and obviously Takagi uh, Nishikata chose a very difficult book he's like oh she'll definitely be impressed but <laughs> Takagi kind of turned that around and she actually chose the picture book which is like you know which is also something I did not see uh, like you know she was I did not think that she was going to do that like props to her <laughs> like damn like so many different ways to actually tease the other person so yeah and <laughs> yeah that was funny and uh like this also like you know like I, we, we also used to go to the library when i was you know in, in school and i also remember actually choosing books um which had pictures in it um because reading like you know like like libraries have books which have which are which are full of text and we were very young at that moment i think we were like how much old like 11 12 or something years old uh, when we used to the, when we started to go to the library like there was like a specific uh class for us which was the library class and we used to go to the library then and we just used to have like you used to just sit there in the library and read books and i remember like a lot of people taking some books and just reading I doubt anyone read them because as I said libraries have books with in a lot of like you know writings and at that age I doubt anyone is interested in them <laughs> and so like you know like whenever we go to the, used to go to the library we used to uh, used to try to find like a book which had the most pictures in it and everyone there was like a rush like as soon as people get got into the library there was a rush to actually grab those books which had the maximum pictures in it <laughs> Oh boy, this reminded me of that. <laughs> oh, because instead of staring like you know, blankly at some letters, at some alphabets, it's better to just look at some pictures. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, this this show really is like you know making me nostalgic about a lot of things. Um, <laughs> so a lot of everyday things. Okay. Anyways, and um, the next part is the final part where we see Nishikata and Takagi. Uh, you know, again meeting on on the way. Nishikata is jogging and Takagi is going back from some shopping I think and as always Nishikata is like oh I went to the beach this time you know and Takagi is like oh really well done so yeah I'll be on my way <laughs> Nishikata is like okay let me just show her that I really am capable enough to go to the beach and he starts running obviously and my god like you know like just panting and just like you know like tired he he arrives at the beach he clicks the picture and like damn like Takagi as always is like you know always ready she knew that Nishikata is going to do something like that so she went back home took the little you know the energy drink or whatever that is or, or water took that and just came directly to the beach and <laughs> and she's like yep I was right again like she sees Nishikata just sitting on the beach and uh, yeah that was that <clears throat> so yeah and then they you know watch at the sunset together and that's it that was this you know like this episode wow this was a really good episode as always um you know more slice of life stuff the first part was especially interesting the where they did not have any voice acting um up until the almost at the end and yeah this as always this is you know like a, a great episode and unfortunately just like the other episodes Nishikata is unable to win but I doubt he'll be able to win unless and until the <laughs> the manga actually ends uh, and as far as I know the manga is still ongoing so yeah uh, probably a long way to go so that's it thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to uh, <clears throat> uh, using master Takagi san so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that's it so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of teasing master Takagi-san season 3 until then goodbye and have a nice day